go. All right, so we are going to dissect the trachea and we are going to dissect the voice box. So what I'm gonna do, if you notice all this muscle still over here, right? So what I gotta do is I gotta get rid of that muscle because what I want is underneath that. So I'm gonna cut up like this. Ruh -roh. We're gonna cut uh, uh, up like that. And then we're gonna open this up. You guys see how I'm opening that up? You guys see how I'm opening that up? Yeah. Yeah. And then if I look, I can start to see the, the voice box right there. Oh, see that? Yeah. All right. So then what I'm going to do, and if I go down just a little bit more, there's my trachea. And then like we said yesterday in class, on the trachea, we actually have cartilage that's on there. And you may not be able to see it, but you can feel it. All right. But what I want is I want to get to the voice box. This is the voice box that's right here. Right, this is gonna be my thyroid cartilage that's right there, right? So I gotta go up above the voice box. You guys hear me? All right, and so I'm gonna go above the voice box, which the voice box is also known as your larynx. And then what we're going to do, oh, and we don't wanna, we don't, make sure you don't hit these arteries that are right here, because we're gonna be dissecting those later on, all right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go way up in here, way up in here, and then I'm going to take my scissors, chop, chop, and we are going to go up in here, and we're going to cut that out. What in the tarnation? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go underneath this, and then what I'm going to do is oh, I'm going to cut that just a little bit more, right, and snip, and snip, but, and snip, and snip, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, ah, pull it up like that, and then what you'll notice on the back of this, we have another organ. Does anybody know what that organ's called? The, no, behind the trachea. The esophagus is going to be right behind there, right? I, I don't see, hold on, hold on. If I look, you can see the esophagus right there. Like we said, the esophagus is collapsed until we go and pull it out. What I'm going to do also, see, there's a better view of my trachea. There's my voice box. So we're gonna come back to the voice box or the larynx in just a minute. I'm gonna turn this like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut, continue cutting down this way. Ugh. And cut, and cut, right? And then we're gonna open this up. And by the way, I'm cutting through the ribs, right? There's the ribs right there, right? And then what's going to happen is there's the heart, right? We're gonna continue cutting down. We're gonna continue cutting down. I guess I could have cut up. And if we look, we will see, that's the liver right there. There's the heart right there. Okay, so there's my heart that's right there. But what I wanna do is I wanna continue cutting here and I'm gonna open this up some more, right? Oh, and I'm actually doing something I shouldn't be doing. But what I'm going to have now is the lungs. There's my lung and there's my lung and there's another part of the lung. Remember, the right lung has three lobes, the left lung has two, right? And then if we notice, underneath the heart here, let me remove some of this junk. Underneath the heart, and it's, I actually tore it a little bit, this muscle right here, anybody know what this muscle's called? Oh. Starts with a D. The diaphragm. So the diaphragm's all in one piece, I cut it. So this is part of the diaphragm right there. Can you see that? Yeah. And then if we look over here, this is part of the diaphragm over here. Okay, and again, it should have all been one piece, but I tore it. But there's my diaphragm right there. And it's actually a thin muscle. Remember the diaphragm, when you breathe, flattens out, so it, it helps open up the rib cage. And again, I have my lung. This is, this is part of the lung right here. And this is part of the lung right here. This is the left lung of the rabbit. So it has two lobes. On the right side, we're gonna have three lobes. So there's the first lobe right there. If we look right here, right, at the first lobe's right here, I, I've moved it up. The second lobe is gonna be right in here, right? And then my last lobe or the third lobe is going to be down here. Now, what we wanna do though, is we wanna continue down with this trachea and it's gonna be kinda hard to do. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it with the heart in a way, but the trachea, is going to split into two and enter into the lungs. 
So I may not be able to see it right now because I don't want to take the heart out yet. Let's see if I can get back behind this heart. And, and anyways, the trach is gonna split into two down in here, the primary bronchi. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Wait, there it is right there. There it is right there. That's one, I think that's one part of it right there. Nope, that's not it. That's not where it splits. So, if we continue down, that should be a, that, okay, so actually that right there is a, a pulmonary uh, vein. No, that's a pulmonary vein. So that's, uh, that's a pulmonary vein right there. No, you're right, that's pulmonary artery because it has deoxygenated blood, so it would be blue and it's going to the lungs. And then where is this gonna split? I mean, somewhere in here, this is going to split into two. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about that right now, but my, my trachea will split into two. So what you guys are gonna do now is you're gonna take this out. You're gonna take this like this. You do not have to cut the whole trachea but what we want to do is we want to separate the esophagus because I want to keep the esophagus for when we do the digestive system. Uh, okay, so we're going to take the esophagus and gently separate that. Then we're going to cut the trachea. All right, and so now you can see we have part of the trachea right there. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to have to remove some of this tissue here that's all on in here without breaking this thing apart. And if I open it up, now you are looking at, that's my epiglottis right there. Okay, go ahead and stop. Face. Okay, so this is looking at the voice box right here. And then this down here is going to be my cricoid cartilage, which is down here. Then I'm gonna have some ligaments. This is my thyroid cartilage that's right here. If I flip this over, now you're looking at it from the back. This is the epiglottis that's right here. That's my epiglottis. And then if we look down in here, if I move my epiglottis back and we look right in there, right here is going to be my true vocal cords. And then right on the side is going to be my false vocal cords. Okay, down here, I'm gonna have my arythmoid cartilage that's gonna be down in here, and then I'm going to have my cuneiform cartilage that's going to be coming up this way, and then my corniculate cartilage, which is gonna be on top of this. You really can't see it, but it'll be on top of this right here. So I have my corniculate cartilage, I have my cuneiform cartilage, I have my true vocal cords, which are right there on top, as you can see, my false vocal cords, if I go to the side, my false vocal cords would be right there. Right? And then on this side also, right in there. And then I have my epiglottis, which is this structure right here. And again, when you swallow, the epiglottis covers the, covers the, uh, the glottis. If I flip this over, right here, again, I have my cricoid cartilage, I have, I have ligaments, and then I have my thyroid cartilage. And that's it for the lyrics. Thanks for watching.